Hey guys, welcome to Rudra Tech Tutorial and in this chapter 23 of Angular 8 unit testing with Jasmine and Karma, we are going to look at code coverage. Objective of this video is to understand what is code coverage. Well, the code coverage is a way of determining the part of code which is left out of testing or not tested properly. Now, when we are creating a project, there are hundreds of test cases that is the unit test cases are written. Now, to make sure that each and every part of the code is properly tested, we can use the code coverage concept. Now, Karma uses the Istanbul reporter tool to create the code coverage reports. With the Karma tool, we can produce the code coverage reports using the Angular CLI command ng test double dash code dash coverage. Once this CLI command is executed, it will first perform your unit testing that is all the test cases are executed. Then it will create a coverage folder within your application setup and in that one it will have index.html which will contain the entire report. So when we are creating a project using angular CLI commands, usually the configuration for Jasmine and Karma is present within it and also the configuration for Istanbul reporter is present within the karma.conf.js. Now let's go and see the configuration first. Now in karma.conf.js we have a configuration present for Karma coverage Istanbul reporter. Along with that we also have a small configuration for coverage Istanbul reporter. So this Istanbul reporter tool will help us to generate the HTML files. So this tool basically goes through your code. Once it completes its analysis, it will create that HTML file and store it in a folder called coverage within your folder structure. Now let's go and execute the command that is the angular CLI command to generate the code coverage. Now this command will first execute the unit test cases then it will generate the report for code coverage now angular cli command is executed successfully here now in this case you can see there is a code coverage summary generated at the bottom so first is the statement so the number of statements that are there and how many number of statement that is the percentage of the statement being tested now in this case in my project it is only 36.41% then the branches the branches mean the code that is present with the conditions now if you have a if condition there might be present a else if or else condition now the branches will check whether the if condition else if condition and the else condition all are getting tested now in this case there is none getting tested then the functions and the lines so this report summary will give us a basic summary now let's go and see the actual report. In this case, there is a coverage folder generated in the project structure. Now we can click this and in this one, there is a index.html present. Since we are in the Visual Studio code, I'm going to right click and open it in the default browser. Now once we open the index.html, this is how our code coverage report looks like. It will help us to understand which files folders are getting unit tested along with that how much percentage of the code is getting unit tested. Now here if you see green means 100% the red mark means there is very less code getting unit tested and the orange mark means only some part of the code is getting unit tested. Now if I click on any of this folder it will show me the files which are getting unit tested and how much percentage of the statements branches functions and lines are getting unit tested if i click on this particular file it will show me the lines of code that is getting unit tested and that is not getting unit tested using the karma and istanbul reporter tool we can generate a simple report like this but there is a drawback to this Istanbul reporter. The drawback is that it will only include the, the TypeScript files in your code coverage. Now when we say it about Angular, 
Angular is also having the templates within its components and those templates are not included as part of code coverage and hence when we are getting a code coverage reports of your project it will give you the report of only the TypeScript code that is present within your application not the HTML or the template so this is how you can perform the code coverage using the Istanbul reporter I hope you have understood this video do subscribe and thank you